everyone it is Danny and welcome to this update video I hope that you guys are doing really great and we're gonna be taking a look at our active systems out there we've got newly formed tropical storm Ophelia which is uh, making its way to the coast of North Carolina and uh, those tropical storm conditions are likely being felt across some areas and uh, will continue through this weekend and we'll also be talking about our invest 90L which is likely to become our next name storm Philippe so that for Formation chance is very high uh, for us to see something over the course of the coming days and so we're gonna head straight into these systems but as usual we're kickstarting with the general infrared satellite imagery so here we can see that there is quite a bit of activity across some areas there we have Ophelia 90L and uh, there is another tropical wave which is coming off the African coast and so that one could try to develop into something models have been hinting at it several models well are showing that we could see some development so maybe the National Hurricane Center will mark this as an area to watch uh, maybe even later today or sometime through the weekend so we'll have to wait and see for that but models have been expecting some uh, development behind 90L and uh, across the Caribbean and especially in parts of northern South America there is quite a bit of shower and thunderstorm activity developing so let's zoom into the area and we're kickstarting looking at the uh, parts of northern South America so here we can see that uh, there are these showers and thunderstorms developing across some areas uh, going to Colombia, Venezuela, even to the Guyanas. And there's a tropical wave which is in the region heading west into the Caribbean. And so ahead of that is uh, some additional rainfall in parts of the south eastern caribbean so southeastern islands uh trinidad tobago even barbados grenada the grenadines uh saint vincent saint lucia uh going further up some of you guys might experience some uh periods of passing showers here and there maybe even some thunderstorms as well but nothing too crazy so that tropical wave is entering and is helping to induce that instability bringing some well-needed rainfall to some areas it has been inducing that rainfall for a couple of days now just as forecast earlier this week and then as we head up north Let's head into the general area and here we can see some thunderstorms across parts of the Yucatan head into sections of Honduras, Nicaragua and also across the greater Antilles and even near the Cayman Islands as well and up into the Bahamas and Turks and Caicos Islands. So for most of the northern islands there is some activity developing for some spots. Things get a bit drier for most of the Virgin Islands and heading toward the Leeward Islands as well especially up to St. Martin and Anguilla within that area there. Now as we head into the vicinity of our newly named storm there we have Ophelia. So it's not the most impressive right now, but it is trying to get itself together with the little time it has left over the warm ocean waters. And so as of current, let's go on to the cone forecast and we can see that it is sustaining winds of 60 miles per hour. Not expected to become a hurricane, but those gusty winds could cause some power outages for some areas and uh, there's also likely to be some heavy rainfall. As I said, it's likely that those tropical storm conditions are already affecting some areas that shaded area there represents the extent of those tropical storm force winds and we've got that warning in place from the coast of North Carolina heading all the way up into Delaware so as the system makes its way further in it is going to bring with it that rainfall threat so that could result in in, uh, in some flooding for some areas and there could even be that coastal flooding as a result of the winds of the system pushing the water on shore which is that storm surge so please stay safe guys and do not put yourself in harm's way should you be affected by the system if you're being affected right now or if you'll be affected later down the road so other states such as virginia heading to maryland and even into pennsylvania and new jersey could feel impacts from the system as we head into the early part of the new week now we're heading out into the main development region where we've got our invest 90l we can see here that it is given that high 90 percent chance of development and it is going to be moving on a general westward track for the next couple of days and could eventually start moving to the west northwest and eventually making that curve out so it is seemingly more and more likely that we will see that curve away from the caribbean before the system can make uh, can be close enough to result in any significant impacts so models have been trending toward that happening because of weakening in the high pressure system out there so a stronger high steers these systems more to the west a weaker high allows them to curve around it and in the case of this system here it will get that opportunity to curve uh, at least it looks likely to do so before it moves close enough to the caribbean to induce any impacts i know the rainfall is well needed especially for the northeastern islands but it seems as though this is going to be following in the footsteps of previous systems such as lee and nigel not being much of an issue for anywhere in the caribbean and so as it relates to the uh, some model data let's go on to 
the track guidance, we can see that most models definitely show the system continuing west and then curving up. The timing varies. We can see these kind of spreading out even more uh, further out in time beyond the next uh, two or three days. So there is some uncertainty, but for the most part, we see them expecting that curve. And then as it relates to intensity, most of these models here expect that this will become a tropical storm. A good amount of them saying that we will see a hurricane, a few saying that it will be a major hurricane uh, as we head into the coming week. But as of now, the system is not the most impressive. As we look at it on the satellite imagery here, we can see that it is looking quite disheveled. So the wind shear is taking a toll on it right now. It's not so organized as before. And uh, eventually, though, it should make its way into more conducive conditions and get itself together. So let's see what's, uh, what's going to be happening over the course of the coming days. And even though we're seeing that it is pretty likely that we will see this curve up to the north, uh, we don't want to let down our guards just yet because there could still be changes. We're talking about something several days out from now, maybe around five days or so. So we definitely have to still keep watch for any changes, but we're seeing some decent consistency on that turn up to the north. And then as it relates to that secondary system, as we go on to the Euro Ensemble tracks, we can see that some of the members are definitely picking up on something trying to develop. All those members are 490L, which is likely to become Philippe by the time. So this goes out to Wednesday of next week. But then uh, there we see that next cluster of members indicating that next tropical wave that I showed you guys earlier. So that next tropical wave is going to be making its way off the African coast. And as it moves westward, then we could see it try to get itself together once it remains in a conducive environment. As we head on to the GFS members here, same time heading out to Wednesday of next week, we can see that they're also expecting that we will we'll see something else developing. So as I said, we might see something being marked by NHC this weekend. And over in the Western Caribbean, GFS has been hinting that, hey, we could see something try to develop there because there's going to be increased moisture due to something known as the Central American Gyrus. So that is a broad, a low pressure area, which means that it rotates in a counterclockwise fashion. So with that low pressure area, there is an increase in moisture. And sometimes we can even see tropical cyclones developing as a result of all that increase in moisture. And that is the birthplace of EW. Uh, several weeks well ago so let's wait and see what's going to be happening but this will be definitely be an area to watch so over in the western caribbean we also want to watch this area as we head especially into the month of october for any systems spinning up and so that is pretty much what i wanted to share with you guys in this update so again we've got newly formed ophelia there is invest 90l another tropical wave moving off of africa and models are expecting that we could see some development of it we'll surely delve into more details in future updates and uh, we also want to watch the western caribbean for any systems potentially spinning up but as of right now there isn't anything to watch over there and so i hope you found this video to be quite informative but if you have any questions please leave them in the comments i'll respond to you once i get the chance to do so and as always remember to be with wise